So tonight, one of the first topics that we're going to talk about is school choice. And we have several guests with us tonight. One of them does have a commitment that he needs to be at, so I'm going to let him go first. But I'd like to introduce Dr. Charles McNulty, who is the PCSSD superintendent. First off, uh, Ms. David asked me to come, and I apologize. My, our son just came in from Canada, and we haven't seen him, as you know, in a long time. And I want to make sure he's eating well. Um, but uh, I was asked to talk about the current law on school choice. So what you're going to have to mean, Ms. Maynard's going to pass out the current law. And right now, there's really two types of school choice. Right now, we're in phase. The first time, which we all kind of know, is phase one is January through May 1st. Um, families can request to go to another district, from a district, and then it's based upon how much space we have in that district or that school. So, I, let's say I live in Robinson right now. Let's say I want to, I want to God forbid, go to Little Rock. Um, good people, though, good people. Um, I would apply to Little Rock for school choice, and then based upon the, 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 how many teachers they have that could accommodate my, my daughter and the space they, I could either get in or out. Now, I may apply, let's say, for a particular school, but what might happen is I might just be able to get into the district. The, okay. And the other type of school choice that we're working with right now is inter-district school choice that I believe happens twice a year. And it allows a district, inter-district agreement between two boards to agree that, yeah, we're going to, because of whatever's going on, we're going to accept or, or allow a family to go to another district. Now, there's one caveat to that is, if you're under federal desegregation control, and we are barely on that situation, then you may not allow that to happen. And a previous board has kind of put us there. My, I'm 50-50. We don't really get many requests one way or the other. Um, but that's a law in the state of Arkansas. What we have is a nice handy dandy, here's the law, here's an explanation, and then what I love about it, it's just like Google, but it's better, it's on paper. Um, what if questions? So, for example, the first one, what does lack of capacity mean? Example for that, we have a lot of school choice for Baker Elementary School on the west side especially in kindergarten. We can only take about 25 students per kindergarten class, so that's our lack of capacity. And at first come, first go, serve comes to what? Neighborhood kids. Uh, second is, what is the, um, and I'm getting older, uh, resident district or non-resident district for school choice. And then there's a nice explanation there. I want to first thank you for inviting me. I didn't use the microphone again, middle school principal. Um, I want you to have a great evening. Any questions, you may contact um, our registrar's office, the district office, and Dr. Warren is in charge of the registrar. Now I'm going to pass off this oh. wonderful mic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Does anybody, do you have, do you have time to take a few questions now? A couple questions. Okay. Yeah. Do we have a couple, any questions? Yeah. 